Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yuki Aim Tournament semifinals. We've got another pretty fantastic matchup today between two players who have already had at least one match on this semifinals pool, or at least should have had at least one match already on the semifinals pool. Reed Cat going through Wood Chi to get here for the second round of Losers Bracket for the weekend. Badu actually winning by default against Korean Maluko, but Having a tough road through the rest of the tournament to get here as well. My name is Dio. I'm going to be joined on this cast by Dolan. How's it going, man? It is a great day for some Osu, Dio. A big match here. Badu against Recat in top eight. And this is going to determine who wins $200, actually. Yeah, top six in this tournament do get that share of the prize pool. They do finally get into some money here. Uh, if they do manage to make it into the finals weekend. So definitely a little bit more riding on this match than on a lot of the others that we've seen so far. Yeah, so I'm sure Recat's going to be pretty happy to have been able to, you know, go through a full match on the pool, be kind of warmed up. But on the other hand, Badu didn't play a match, so Recat has no intel. Badu does have a match to go off of. So we'll have to see how this plays out. These are two very interesting players who have had unique routes through the tournament. Recat making it all the way to winner's quarters, I believe. Before being sent here to the loser's bracket by Flying Tuna. Do you actually also making it to winner's quarters? Both of them dropping out of winner's bracket last weekend. Uh, Recat to Flying Tuna and Badu to Emrek. Uh, both of them relatively similar matches. 6-2 for Emrek versus Badu, and I believe 6-3 for Flying Tuna versus uh, versus Reed Cat. Yeah, 6-3 on that matchup. So, honestly, fairly, fairly good runs for both of these players already. They've already made it relatively far in the tournament, but uh, like you said, if they want to go that one step farther and get into the prize pool, they do have to win here. One of them has to be knocked out 7-8. And to think that the match after this is going to be the exact same scenario with Zudinator and Bubble Man. We have two very big matches determining uh, money here coming up in the next two hours. So you don't want to go anywhere. Big matches. I think we're just waiting for the lobby to be set up here. Players getting ready to file in. We can talk a little bit about how these players have generally done so far. I think it's going to be no surprise to a lot of people, but you tends to pick into a lot of the reading focus maps, tend to pick into the hidden pool or low approach rate maps and nomad tech maps and nomad as well. Uh, Read cat generally far better on the hard rock pool, but I think this map pool is a little, it's going to make this matchup a little interesting. I think hard rock will be a little bit more contested than usual between these two players. Yeah, that could be a big factor here. That's not something Recat really wants to have happen here on a pool. Pick Hard Rock and have it broken immediately. That could be the end of him here. But as you said, you know, Recat is favored more so on Hard Rock. But a few of these maps here do have, I think, potential to go the other way. Yeah, especially when you look at picks like Null Control or like Axion or Cross Time. I think those maps, you know, everything besides Hard Rock 1 really is... Something that Badu tends to do fairly well on. He's a very good precision player, should be fairly solid on something like Null Control, but again, that's still right up Reed Cat's alley. He's still very strong on that skill set overall. I think when you look at Cross Time and Axion, those two maps are probably going to be the most contested. Uh, Axion, a Hollow Wings map in Hard Rock there. Lots of really wonky aim control and lots of really fast repeat sliders all over the place as well. So, uh, very, very difficult sort of pick that if you're not accustomed to that type of mapping, you're not going to do well on it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, stuff you just have to be prepared for here. Recat, one of the veteran names in the community. Um, honestly, I think he's been kind of one of the surprises of the tournament. I think, you know, Recat is known as a good tournament player, but coming in at a very high seed in the tournament and making it all the way to quarters, so really holding up to his seed here. And Badu coming in as the number 10 seed, I think uh, it isn't how most people would have it. Oh, it's really 
It is a little bit, uh, a little bit odd to see both of these players not even here. You know, the very top of the seedings in this tournament. Usually, especially in an aim tournament, you think Badu is definitely going to go far, and that has been the case for this tournament. But qualifier seeding definitely. Uh, well, I, honestly, I don't even want to say misrepresentative because there's just so many damn good players in this tournament. I mean, you look at the players still in winners bracket right now, and it's literally Emrek Vaxe uh, for winners finals. So yeah, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's not so... a lot of room to go up from here, man. There's all all really these other, not. All, all the six players left in the losers bracket are like, "Whoa, what'd you expect from us?" I mean, it's Vaxe <laughs> Emrek, like, c come on, man, like. Oh lord. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, uh... A little, a little tough to go up from here, that's for sure. But uh, we are we are going to get started. This uh, started, excuse me, the solid 99 from Badu, 88 from Raid Cat, two high rolls. But uh, you know, 99, pretty pretty solid roll. You don't beat that too often. Uh, second ban for Reed Cat and first pick for Badu, so he's also going to get first ban here. We're actually going to get a Nomad 2 ban from Badu. I think that's pretty expected. Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Here you can say, yeah. <laughs> hidden 2 ban for uh, Reed Cat. Uh, pretty, pretty expected also. Um, you know, these are... These are not unexpected bans at all. Both of these players know exactly what the other is good at and bad at. Reed Cat, not very good at low approach rate reading. Badu, very good at low approach rate reading. Badu, very bad at streams. Uh, and Reed Cat, you know, I don't think that's his forte, but he's certainly been grinding them as of recent. Uh, has full combos on maps like Yumi Yori, where, yeah, you need the stamina for that. So, uh, gonna be far better at the skill set than Badu, that's for sure. Hard Rock won. So as you, we were kind of talking earlier, as you mentioned, Hard Rock won being that one Hard Rock that Badu probably wouldn't be super favored on, gets the ban. Yeah, I think I think that ban makes a lot of sense from Badu. He's certainly not banning out any of the other Nomad picks. You know, there are some RNG patterns in maps like Nomad 1. Uh, Nomad 4, a little bit streamier than I think Badu would usually like. But uh, all of those maps are still things he's going to be very good at. He's obviously not banning out the hidden pool. Um, and I, I honestly don't know how DT goes between these two players. I think he could have also banned out Double Time 1 and been fairly okay. Uh, that's probably the most speed intensive map in the pool. Uh, so could have also been a good shout. But yeah, I think this no is... Nomad 5. Yeah, uh, with Hidden 4 banned out instead of Nomad 5, that's a very obvious first pick for Badu. Yeah, again, we were kind of wondering where Recap was going to go with that second ban, either Hidden 4 or the Nomad 5. And Badu knew he was going to pick the one that Recap did not ban, so a strong opening pick here expected for Badu. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's really not a lot else to say about this one. AR 7.5, awkward aim, tons of overlapping patterns that double back on themselves, tons of really wide angle or linear grid snap patterning jumps in this map as well. Uh, it's just super awkward all around. Uh, and Reedcat choosing to ban out a second hidden map instead of this means that, well, Badu, somebody who plays easy on the regular, somebody who just grinds low approach rate almost every session, uh, one of the best reading players in the world right now, definitely gonna be picking into this map. Multi-circle drifting. I think that's a very accurate name, but we are all Pretty evened up here, actually. Recap with some slight spinner advantage. They had the exact same accuracy there for a moment, but Badu now taking the act lead. You have to be so patient. This is a but very as... long map as well. There's a quite a lot of drain time on this three minutes and 40 seconds worth of map both of them hitting that linear stream into now another awkward aim section but like you said big accuracy lead for Badu right now about two and a half percent up maybe two 100s dropped at this point uh, just having no troubles at all with over or under tapping based on the rhythm so 
Uh, looking very, very solid at the moment. Reedcat still holding on to the full combo and getting some accuracy yeah. back as well. Definitely not bad on this map so far. Yeah, this is far from over. Reedcat could definitely combo game this should we see a miss here from Badu. We've seen it play out like that in many other matches throughout the tournament time and time again. So that FC could be vital, but right now Badu is pulling away about 40k in front. Still half of the map left. I think player dropping on these wide angle awkward jumps in the middle section as well. Those super wide angle expanding jumps are so easy to just miss aim, especially on an approach rate this low, but neither of them giving an inch right now. Badu as well, still on 99.5 accuracy. Just no troubles at all with this map, but this is a really fantastic score from Reedcat as well. I mean, yeah, we've oh, seen scores like this is... win. He's gonna give it up. Reedcat was giving chase brilliantly there, but does find the first miss of the match. Two thirds of the way in. And Badu, well, there's not much you can do when he's just fc and like that. I think a lot of people didn't... I, I certainly didn't expect this score out of Reedcat. Uh, he's definitely not who I think of when I think low approach rate prowess in Osu. He's definitely a very different kind of player uh, from that, but apparently is very solid on this type of skill set as well. Uh, he's a very solid player overall, very well-rounded player, but I was not aware he was this good at low approach rate. This score wins against just about anybody else this weekend besides Badu, who is just uh, still full comboing 1,200 combo into the map. Yeah, he is still Badooing his thing, you could say. Badu just doesn't... He has superhuman reading. It is insane. But to get this FC is actually massive because Recap had a shot at this point for a long time. If Badu misses at the middle section of the map, Recap might take this point. <laughs> and that's crazy to think about. <laughs> the score is just insane, man. What is this? And he's just and he's just gonna full combo. Uh, and he's just gonna he, full combo. He's Badu, yep. Yeah. Multi-circular drifting. Badu is Eurobeat. The next initial D character confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. 982,000 points. Yeah, you know, you don't really pick this expecting people to full combo it, but I guess when somebody doesn't ban it against Badu, that's what I should start expecting, right? It's just, it's just there was only to one miss the low AR map. Between those two players. Dear Lord. One yeah. miss. <laughs> those are ridiculous scores. Reedcat as well wins that against the majority of other players this weekend. It's just, you know, being against somebody that good at low approach rate reading. Is that the first FC on this map uh, this weekend? Uh, definitely the first FC this weekend, yes. Uh, we have not seen anybody else full combo that map this weekend at all. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think we have. Well, all right, Recat is going to no mod one gang it up after that. A solid response. He says, let's change it up to about anything but what we just played. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really what you have to do uh, is just go for something completely different. And I, I think this Nomad 1 works a little bit better for Reedcat than your usual Nomad 1 pick. Relatively fast, 223 BPM. And there are some streams in this that Badu is just going to struggle with, uh, especially near the end of the map where the spacing on the streams also gets pretty wide. Uh, so... Reedcat definitely much more in his element on this type of map than Badu. Oh, it looks like we are on the wrong version of the map. Yeah, so we did make some offset changes to this one that we were not allowed to upload because the mapper is restricted and cannot give, uh, you know, permission to re-upload the map, so... Uh, the player who picks it does go into the, uh, does get hosted and go into their client and pick the correct version. Well, there you have it. The things we do for no mod one. The things we do when picking graveyard no mod ones. Yeah, that's a, it's a struggle. We're going to we're gonna see exactly how much of a struggle it is though. Uh, near the end of the map, I think I think Reedcat is going to be having a much better time. He did fairly well on this map against Ruchi yesterday. 
as well. If I remember correctly, had a very solid score on the pick and actually full comboed the uh, really stupid space stream near the end of the map. Got about 400k on the map. I think had a few misses in the first half as well. I see a message in chat that says if Badu hits the stream, he will need a diaper. We'll get the diaper. I I would not get one. I would not get one. I am not betting on Badu hitting the stream. It is, it is not happening. Sorry. I like I love Badu. Very good Could player. You imagine, he though. is not hitting it though. <laughs> Listen, I believe in him, man. All right, someone's gotta. I believe in him to combo everything. Okay, never mind. Well, maybe he'll he'll one miss it. He'll one miss the stream. <laughs> Uh, well, he already missed. Screen. He already missed, so we're, we're past that point now. Oh, my client is... That's awkward. Whoops. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and pull up that screen share real quick. Oh, it's because probably because the offset. The right version. Yeah. Ah, Recap there we go. That's much better. As well, by the way. Uh, so we do have combo resets for both players. Better accuracy for Bidu at the start, given that there are no streams. Uh, he's still very fine on single tapping this type of BPM. And right now, Padu with that combo advantage. But Recat is keeping it close. I love the perfect act from Badu on all of the normal patterns, all of the jumps, and then the uh, every stream you can just hear in the client a little bit of a little bit of mashing going on. But he's got the combo lead, he's got the advantage right now. Reedcat is just not able to hang on with the jumps in this map, actually. And this is sort of what happened against Wuji as well, where you know he was very good on the streamier sections of the map, but not quite as good on the raw aim part during the jump sections in the first half of the map. Yeah, right now Badu showing no signs of weakness here through the jump sections. And Recap will fall as he gives chase. He had a combo. There kind of goes chances of coming back into this. He's going to need to see a meltdown from Badu, but Badu still rocking the S rank. Yeah, and that's another miss coming through for Recap. These jump sections are just not going his way. Finally, the first long stream, but Badu actually gets through it as well. Recap missing right before the longer stream. And now. Man, I was going to say at the beginning of the map, before I got cut off by Badu's early miss, the one miss right at the start, uh, that I, I would bet on him full comboing everything up until the longer stream section here as we get to about the three-quarter mark in the map. Uh, and that's kind of what's happened now. Recap really on the back foot. This is a massive score lead for Badu at the moment with not really any combo to Recap's name to try and take it back even if a miss comes through. I believe, I'd like to uh, just state for the record that I called it. <laughs> Called it! Take that, Emrek! Oh my I'm Lord. just kidding, Emrek. I love you. So there's the stream, by the way. There's that follow point stream. Read cat hitting it, but you missing. No, but I mean, no. 200k. Yeah, that was actually pretty impressive by Read Cat there, though. But Badu has just built up way too much score advantage here. It's over 200k. So close, Badu. And see, this is the section where you can really lose score if you can't hit these streams, if you're not able to keep the combo together to keep from chain missing. But you score actually going down there for a second, back down to 490k or so, and Recap climbing back really quickly. Badu getting through that section, however, and I think that actually keeps it in his favor. If he did chain miss there, it's very yeah, hard for the comeback to happen. Yeah, Badu looks like he is going to be able to limp this one home at the end. Even though Recat is coming with a lot of combo, there is just not enough time. Another miss from Badu, but it's not enough. And Badu will take a 2-0 lead. Also, yes, I realize I was wrong. I was looking at the wrong client at the start chat. I apologize. <laughs> that, is a, that is a very solid score from Badu. 1,000 max combo. And he just doesn't miss on the jump section. He's just that good at regular old jump aim. Uh, all of the misses basically coming on the space streams at the end of the map and a single miss on a five note burst at the start for Badu. Uh, basically combos through every jump in the map. Readcat unfortunately just finding random misses all throughout the first half on the jumpier parts of the map and unable to get the score together needed to take the first point.
Yeah, now Badu sitting pretty comfy here. He's gonna go with hidden one here to try to make it a 3-0 lead. So this is Devour the Past. This is our awkward aim map and hidden. AR9 as well. A relatively low approach rate, I think, compared to a lot of the other maps that we've had in Hidden 1. A lot of them have been you know, AR 9.3, 9.5, and 9.7, but uh, flat AR 9 on this does make it very uncomfortable if you are not a seasoned Hidden player. You're going to have a little bit of trouble with reading some of the patterns on this map, especially uh, when you do get into a lot of those really awkward jumps, some of them that overlap on, the, on themselves, and... Uh, some of them that are just really weird angles that you wouldn't normally expect, very uncomfortable to play. Yeah, and at 4 minutes in length too, uh, it is going to be a HD gaming test here. Consistency on all levels. And as you stated, AR9 can be very tricky, especially when you've been used to playing slightly higher AR hidden. It might not seem like much, but that subtle difference can mess you up if you're not ready for it. Gonna have to see if both of these players are ready for it. If anything, I know Badu is gonna be fine on it. Went straight from AR 7.5 to the last approach rate on Nomad 1, I think 9.8. Uh, no problem. Reed Cat as well. I think probably hopped out just to get used to the approach rate for a second there. Uh, did see him hop out of the lobby just for a second, so that's uh, likely also gonna be just fine. And yeah, after a little, a couple early hundreds on the beginning triples, both players adjusting just fine to the approach rate. Uh, but really, now, with some of that high spacing and some of the awkward patterning, Reedcat dropping an early miss on the intro section, running another miss on some of these overlapping single taps as well, so... A few early drops for Reedcat might end up mattering eventually, but it's not a huge combo deficit to overcome. Yeah, but right now, Badu is looking much more comfortable than Reedcat. With the full combo and still with the S rank, Recap finding a third miss. Badu still growing that score lead now. It is nearly 50k already, but we're still very early on. Recap is going to need to see a miss from Badu at some point here before the halfway mark. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard for Recat to crawl his way back into this one. And the accuracy deficit as well now is really tough for Recat to deal with. 94.7 to 98.4 right now for both of these players. And another miss comes through for Recat now at about the one-third mark in the map. And, and this is just a massive combo lead at this point. 650 combo up for Badu. Still on the full combo. Now make that 680, 690 combo up as more misses come through for Recap. These awkward jumps and space triples in combination are so tough to deal with. We've seen a lot of players do fairly well on this map, and you can see the contrast between a seasoned hidden player and somebody who, honestly, Recap, not known for the hidden modification, not known for being very good at that skill. I would say that's probably his one weakness as a tournament player. And but you very clearly aware of that, very clearly intent on abusing that weakness since after all, that's his own strength. He's fantastic at maps like these. Yeah, that is the name of the game and he is abusing it quite well here. Nearly 1,000 combo still with the FC 98.8 accuracy. As they come into the slider section, and there's just nothing Recat can really do here at this point. I mean, it's just one of these players is a hidden player, the other is not. That's all there is to it. But how do you prepare for Badu's supremacy on this level that we have seen in this match? Yeah, starting off with the full combo on Mr. Coffee is just sort of another level of comfort on that sort of map, and then uh, he's looking for the second one in a row on his own pick here on Hidden 1. I mean, this after winning Nomad 1 as well, and especially if you start off with two full combos on your own picks, it sort of makes your opponent question, okay, how do I win a breakpoint? 
<laughs> because every right. map this guy has picked so far, he's at full comboed. Do I just, just have to full combo something outside my net. skill set? Like, it's it's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, this is a fantastic score. I don't even know if we've seen a full combo on this map so far this weekend either. Well, let's not jinx it here. He's coming into the ending. We'll see if he can get it. No, no, no. Let's jinx it. First yeah, full combo the on the map. First full combo on the map. Commentator curse time. Let's go. FC from Badu. No way he chokes it here at the end. Impossible. He will not. Solid. It's impossible. You can't do it to this man. Quite solid. 1.02 million points. I mean, this is this is honestly just a really fantastic start from Badu. Uh, two full combos in a row on his own two first picks, uh, and a break point on Reed Cat's first pick. There's not a lot more that you could ask from a start to a match. Uh, if you are Badu during this one, you you don't really get to have a better start than something like this. Yeah, and he's really put Recat in a tough spot here very early on in this matchup because Recat definitely needs to take this point. Cannot afford to hand over another breakpoint to Badu, knowing that Badu is more than likely going to pick hidden. Because there is another hidden map left, and Recat is going to go with double time two. That's a that is such an interesting pick. Okay, I, I I'm very interested to see how this map goes. Um, this is honestly a pick that I thought Badu would go with once he was out of hidden maps, uh, because this is exactly his it's one of the other things that he's very good at a uh, high density old style maps in double time is something that Badu is known for being very good at uh, former old map fantasy champion in Badu, so it's not like he's bad at this sort of map if anything i think the only pattern he might struggle with is the burst near the end of the map but it's all vertical stacks you can just double tap it uh, I, I'm really interested to see what kind of score Reed Cat is going to pull out on this map because knowing Badu's skill set, you have to have a very good score on this map, I think, to come out on top. Yeah, no, 100%. And it is a do or die pick here for Reed Cat. So I would assume that Reed Cat is very confident in this pick given the situation of the match. And a good start here for Reed Cat. He's got an advantage here early on. Already see all of the really high spacing patterns in this map that make it so difficult to hold on to the combo. Both players with no troubles during the intro section. Onto the grid snappy aim needed to do well on this kind of map. Something that both of them are familiar enough with to do well on. Basically tied in accuracy as well. And as we get to that halfway point, there's the miss coming up from Reedcat actually on the giant rectangle jumps. And that's about the worst place you can find a miss. It's going to cut the score down by such a wide margin. We need to see collapse from Badu here near the end of the yeah. map. But Reedcat just can't hold the combo back together. Yeah, that is going to minimize Reedcat's score. That's absolutely devastating. And Badu is not missing into the final quarter of the map. And Reedcat sees... At the break, there is just nothing he can do. 300k in the hole. And, and Badu will finally give it up. Finally a miss for them. They both hit the giant triple on the left-hand side of the screen, by the way. That triple has killed everyone beside Eryu. Uh, so only those three players hitting that triple this weekend. And, and this is why I was so... Uh, this is why this pick was so interesting to me, because... You had to assume Reed Cat had something up his sleeve with this pick. And to be fair, the score on this map, very solid. The first half going just about as well as it could for Reed Cat. But once he hit that second half of the map, once one miss came through, all the rest of them just came through, could not stop with it. And Badu not breaking until three quarters of the way into the map, putting forward a fantastic score, 850k. Yeah. It's just not the result Reed Cat would have wanted. I mean, I think, and I see people calling it a questionable pick. I mean, you could call it a questionable pick, but I think this was more of a gamble pick because to pick this against Badu, you have to know that you have a shot. You don't pick this unless you know you have a shot. So I'm assuming Reed Cat had put up good scores on that map and had it scouted and was just willing to roll the dice. And unfortunately, it didn't go his way. 
and now he's staring at a 4 nothing deficit. Yeah, I mean, very clearly, Reed Cat was solid on that map. Like I said, the first half of that map went fantastically for him. It's just the single miss aim on that big rectangle pattern, and then it's so hard to keep the nerves together once one miss comes through. It's so easy to then readjust and find more misses right afterwards. So uh, it's unfortunate timing on the miss for Reed Cat, just not quite able to hold on long enough. And now Badoo, with the next pick, you have to expect hidden three. Uh, given how well the low pro trait map and the other hidden map that he's picked so far have gone, as well as, you know, double hidden ban from Reed Cat. I think that's a very solid pick. Uh, it's hidden 4 hidden is actually four. banned, so he's not picking that one. Yeah, oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, hidden 4 is uh, not available anymore, so uh, <laughs> he's going to be going with the other hidden map. So... Umino no Dark Side Rolling Gothic Mix. This is not the ranked version. It's actually a graveyard version mapped by a different mapper, Suicune 3. Uh, this has been a popular pick this weekend, actually. I didn't expect it to be as popular of a pick as it is, but uh, lots of players seeming to find this map really uh, solid for them. Lots of really wonky cut stream patterns, lots of doubles that force you to instantly change directions and change cursor velocity all over the place in this map. Uh, just a very, very tricky sort of low BPM stream map all around. And you add hidden on top of something like that. Even no mod, it's already tricky enough to get the aim right and position your cursor correctly with all the micro adjustments you have to make. You have add hidden on top of that and it just becomes a whole nother level of difficulty. Well, we know Reed Cat is definitely not happy to play hidden, but fortunately for him, it is the last hidden map in the pool. Badu looking to get another point on hidden here and advance to match point. sort of see exactly what kind of patterning you're going to get in this map by all the wiggles and high spacing near the start here. It's probably the easiest section of the map, both players comboing it in kind. We get into now some of the more difficult portions of this intro. You get into square streams, you get into much more cut streams than before at the very start. This section is very easy to chain miss on. And oh, Badu actually does go down! Miss. Big chain miss for Badu on the stream! And Recat with the FC is going to start to bank his first major lead of the match here. This would be a massive break point for him. Actually, more misses come through for Badu on those cut double streams. But Recat misses right afterwards on the back and forth stream afterwards. Uh, wiggle oh, streams no. as well. And the cut streams afterwards not going well for Recat. He's able to hit the intro, but isn't able to hold a consistent combo afterwards. And now 100 combo lead for Badu. Yeah, 100 combo lead for Badu, but only 10k advantage for Recap. Badu is going to be taking the lead here momentarily. It's still very close, approaching the halfway mark. Recap is still very much in this. Just needs to pull himself together here and wait for a miss from Badu. It's very close. That That's accuracy may play a factor here. It's a bit of an accolade for Badu, about a percent up or so. But honestly, with how close these scores are, with how close the combos are, it is essentially neck and neck. It's going to yep. keep going ever so slightly in Badu's favor. But no lead garnered from this combo advantage is going to be all that big. So it really comes down to the next set of misses for each of these players who wins yeah. the map. And Recat has actually been narrowing that accuracy lead Badu had, and it's been keeping him in it. He's only 5k behind, but he will find a big drop there on the stream section. Recat oh, now man. falls apart, and that might be all she wrote here. You miss once during this section, and it's just all over. There is barely any break from these streams. It's 25, 30 notes plus of continuous cut stream hell in this map. And Badu finally finds a miss here near the end of that section, but not without losses from Reedcat. 88% accuracy because 
those sections, when you start chain missing, are just so tough on the accuracy, so tough on the combo, and the score actually drops for Reed Cat down to below 200k, but do far and away in the lead at this point, just more consistent on this type of patterning. No problems holding it together despite missing every once in a while during this section. So unfortunate for Recat. There have been a few moments in this match where he has showed some fight and really performed above his expectations, especially here on a hidden map. You hate to see it fall apart like that for him, but that is just the nature of the beast with hidden streams. You get out of rhythm on a place like that, it is really hard to recover. And it cost Recat here dearly. That is, these types of patterns on this map are just so easy to find repeated note lock misses on. And you can see exactly why Reed Cat's accuracy got that low during the second half of the map, 106 misses. It's just near impossible to get back on the pattern unless you overstream, over tap and uh, aim back onto the pattern in front of where you already are. It, it is so difficult to pull off that kind of micro adjustment if you're not super comfortable on the mod to begin with, and that's definitely not the case for Reed Cat. But do, however, much higher level of comfort. 97% accuracy on this 860 max combo and just about 450k on the score. Very solid pick for him. But Reed Cat now back against the wall, trying to get out of a clean sweep position right now. Yeah, and he's gonna go with Nomad 4. Could be the potential last pick. Reed Cat will need a reverse sweep, or it will be a top eight finish. Still very respectable. No doubt, but if there's gonna be a comeback, it's gotta start now, Dio. Uh yeah, it better. <laughs> there's there's nowhere else for Reed Cat to go but either out of the tournament or up to 6-5 from here. Uh, either he is eliminated by Badu or he forces a tiebreaker and wins on it. And that's all there is to it. He's gonna have to start somewhere and he's gonna try and make it happen with Ops Code Rapture 195 BPM on the tech pick in Nomad. Relatively streamy as well. This map is much more similar to what you would think of as a normal tech pick in tournament compared to some of the maps like Pensilina that we've had in Yuki aim in previous rounds where they've been almost entirely focused on the slider aim. This one much more focused on a combination of the slider aim, cut streams, space streams, finger control, the whole gamut that you usually see in tech maps in the Nomad tool during tournament play. And so far, so good for both players. Recap with about a 1% advantage on accuracy. A little more now as Badu tanks a couple percent there. Both players still holding the FC. Both of them hitting the space slider stream there. As we get to about the two thirds mark, we're gonna look for massive expanding cut streams as well as a potential pattern to miss on for both players. It's been a definitely an easy place to miss in this map overall for a lot of players in this round. And we're coming up to it here in just a second. Both of them still on the full combo. That kind of pattern right after a slow part, when you have those nerves, when you know both players are full comboing can determine the entire map. And here we go. Reed oh, misses, Reed but you hits it though on Bad the full dude, combo dude. still. And you have to wonder if that is going to be what sends Recat out of this Badu now. Just has a quarter of the map left standing between him, a sweep at 200 bucks, but he will go down. Recat now will have a chance to get right back in it and stay in the match. And you got to remember the accuracy lead we were talking about earlier. Badu not able to pull together solid act on this map. 91% right now to 96 for Recat. And when the combos are this close, when the map is close like this, that accuracy can play a major factor. And it's going to be part of the reason why Reed Cat is able to put his first wait, point wait. on the board here. And he will hold Badu, finding a couple misses at the end there, handing it to Reed Cat, who is able to limp it across the line for his first point of the match, staying alive 5-1. to one. Only four misses for Badu. Nine, 679 max combo hits the ridiculous expanding cut stream in the middle of the map, but 
Uh, Reed Cat, just more consistent overall on the accuracy, 4% higher ack, and when those misses come through for Badu near the end of the map, when the ack drops down, uh, that's when Reed Cat is able to take advantage. But now, you know, not only does Reed Cat have to have a few successful picks in a row here, he also has to get through all of Badu's next picks. This next one, Hard Rock 2. We were talking about this map earlier on. This is the Ultra Precision Map CS 7.93 on this map. Of course, I'm sure Reed Cat will just be glad that there is no more hidden he has to worry about for the remainder of the match. So on to Hard Rock. Yeah, this map is uh, this map is a little weird. Um, it's a weird map for a weird song, but it's it's focused on one of the elements of precision that I think is very difficult for a lot of players to recognize as difficult, which is the ability to go from one side of the screen to the complete opposite side and still be precise in your cursor movement. There's a lot of jumps in this map that are 1-1, one, one, that are relatively slow, but that are from you know top right corner to bottom left corner. And when the circle size is so small, that type of jump, not only is it hard to aim, it's also kind of hard to read. You're looking for these tiny circles on the entire opposite side of the screen, and you need to be very precise in your cursor movement. You need to have solid reading at this approach rate to do it. It's a very underrated skill. That's what's going on in the first half of this map, in addition to a, a few faster jumps here and there at 200 BPM. Then you also get near the end of the map, very high spacing, very fast jumps that are just hard. And that's where a lot of the misses come from on this map. We do see some early misses on those wide jumps though. Well, here we go. Business is about to pick up. No misses after the intro into the first key eye here. And it is a lead for Badu off of accuracy, about 25,000 at the moment. Funny, I think there actually is a slight... Is there a combo advantage for Recap by like one or two? Did Badu have like a miss very early on? And there is actually a slight combo advantage, you're right. I think it's just missed slider ends, because I just saw him miss another slider end right there. Um, so I think it's just dropped slider ends for Badu. But either way, ever so slight combo advantage for Reed Cat. Not going to really Look at that score. It, it might actually. Look at that score. Oh, Lord. It's very close. And the accuracy is within a percent of each other. Oh, now actually way in favor of Recat. Badu tanked a lot of accuracy there, but Recat is going to find a drop here. And Badu able to hold on through the first set of high spacing jumps. Misses oh, on the big slow jump right into the ending, though. But Recat also Last missing quarter. on the same pattern. The accuracy is going to start coming into play if Recat can hold on to the combo. But that he drop could well. seal it. It's a 50 combo advantage, about 45 combo oh. advantage for Badu. Recat dropping even further now. This might seal the deal unless Badu falls apart. 10K. 20k in favor of Badu on match point. But that ending is not intense enough to force any misses out of either player. But you, I think, knowing exactly what's going on, he's ready to get this match over with. He's ready for top six. He's moving and on to the finals weekend. Is it 6 1 Badu moving on to face intercambing? and that will secure $200 for him as well. Recat, brilliant effort and honestly exceeded expectations on several of those picks and really made things interesting. Able to get on the board at least, avoid the sweep, and come away with a top eight finish in a stacked tournament. So major props to Recat as well. Yeah, Reed Cat with a very solid performance in this tournament overall. Like you said, finishing top eight, tied seventh, eighth place with the loser of our next match, actually. Uh, but a very solid performance overall. Now, we do want to say congratulations to Badu for moving on, but also thanks to Reed Cat for playing in the tournament. Helps make it more competitive for everyone involved when we do get players as good as him in this tournament as well.